And that adds what? <laughs> Question number nine. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The, sorry, Simon O'Connor, I was about to promote him. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, to the Minister, does he stand by his statements in relation to prison population growth? Mr Speaker. The Honourable Kelvin Davis. Uh, yes, in the context they were made. In particular, I stand by my statements that I would like to work with the member and all parties in a bipartisan way, given research says that scaremongering amongst politicians creates fear in the public, which in turn drives policy that increases the prison population. Order, order. Before we go to the supplementary, I would like to remind members on my left that they do not draw me into this discussion. Simon O'Connor. Is he ruling out a public-private partnership at Waikiria? And if so, has he talked to the Minister of Finance around extra funding to cover increasing costs and population growth within his corrections portfolio? Mr Speaker, we have are yet to make any uh, final decisions on the rebuild of uh, Waikiria, but we don't generally do public-private uh, partnerships. What advice has he received of the impact on prisoner numbers of the 1,800 extra police, and how is he going to manage this? Uh, Mr Speaker, uh, done correctly, increased police numbers will actually reduce That's crime, right. in particular if they have a focus on education. That's right. Border? Um, I asked what advice uh, he had received. I don't think that was addressed in the question. Well, I, 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 think, I think it was. I think the, the, might, the minister might not have prefaced it, the advice I've received, but I think he indicated the, what that advice included. Am I able... Sorry, point of order. Am I able, through you, to ask uh, clarification if that is advice or just an opinion? Well, if the member wants to use another supplementary, yes. Okay. Um, can, the, thank you. can the minister advise uh, myself and the House if, in the answer to the previous question, that was formal advice that he has received and reviewed? Uh, Mr Speaker, uh, the, the member is asking whether I've received formal advice. What, the advice I've seen from research is that if, uh, if, if done correctly, community policing and education will actually reduce uh, crime and reduce prison population that way. The right on, the right can, I, on can I ask the minister, has he received any advice that if you get rid of the police force, there will then be the case where the prisons will not be required, they'll be emptied out. Uh, Mr Speaker, uh, no, I haven't received that advice. <laughs> Question number 10. Thank you, Mr Speaker. To the, the Minister, Paul Goldsmith. the Minister of Employment, does he stand by his statement in the...